Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. I'm coming to you out of Spain. I'm still in my holidays. So I have to bring this Bitcoin price update, my friends, because yesterday we have seen a nice pump above this bearish rising wedge. We had a nice breakout to the upside with confirmation of new support. And right now we are approaching this important resistance level here, the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame, right at $22,700. Will Bitcoin be able to break straight through and push higher or are we going to face here some huge resistance at around $23,000? So we're going to have to analyze that. Then, of course, we're going to have a look into Ethereum and also into the US dollar index and Nasdaq because we have everywhere a lot of price movement right now. So if you're trading this volatility, my friends, then do it right now over here on Bybit because there is a trading event going on here. You can win a lot of bonus and money. So definitely trade over here because uh, here you can get the most out of your trades. And if you still need a Bybit account, this is the main exchange that I'm using. Then make sure to use the sign up link in the video description and of course also sign up to the trading event. You still have some more days left. And if you use my link, you will get some additional bonuses. So let's go here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, because yesterday we were forming this bearish rising wedge. We didn't break out to the downside because uh, those are bearish patterns. So it's more likely that we are going to break out to the downside. We have seen the opposite, a nice break out to the upside. So during bull markets, uh, it's very healthy to see whenever we are forming bearish uh, patterns that Bitcoin is able to break bullish. And that, of course, is a potential confirmation that we are back in our bull run or at least at the beginning of a potential bull run. But there are still several signs that are suggesting that at least some more pullbacks are possible before we break above the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame, because in the four hour even though we are still in this nice uptrend with higher highs and higher lows here, in my opinion, we are going to face the most resistance before we're really able to break higher. So it is possible that here at around 23K, we could get one less leg down to maybe retest the 20K area. But afterwards, I'm pretty confident that we could see over the next coming weeks, nice uh, bullish momentum building up and that we are heading now towards our most bullish target at least at around $38,000. We're going to cover that later on in the weekly time frame as usual. But now let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that we have a quite increase in money flow. It's not positive yet, but out of this bullish divergence that we were forming, you can see that now we have uh, an increase in money flow. We also had several buy signals and also we're trading right now above the median line of the Kelton channels. So if today we can close above $21,300, it's very likely that over the next coming days and weeks, we will head up towards the top of the Calder channels in the daily time frame, right at $23,700. And if we're able to build up a support above the top of the Calder channels, because since the all time high, we never closed a single daily candle above the top of the Calder channels, then I think that we are in for a nice run up. So Bitcoin is still below this Fibonacci retracement level here in the bigger uh, time frames. I'm going to explain you that again in the weekly time frame. But here, in my opinion, we're facing some huge resistance. But if here we are able to build up a support above $23,000, it's very likely that over the next coming days and weeks, we could see follow through to the upside. And therefore, let's go over into the weekly time frame, because next to that buy signal that is flashing right now and today is the last uh, uh, trading day for Bitcoin for this week in the spot market. Of course, we are trading all on Saturday and Sunday, but on the CME chart today is the weekly close. And if somehow we could close above the bottom of the Kelton channels and the 200 weekly moving average, then I think that this buy signal is confirmed and also valid that we could see here a nice run up towards the 20 weekly moving average. And of course, also test this main resistance trend line up here at around $37,500 so around $38,000. Because you can see that Bitcoin is still forming this in theory bullish uh, falling broadening wedge with a potential target even up here towards $95,000. But since we are still at the bottom of this pattern, we at least must expect here a nice run up to test the resistance trend line again. And then we're going to see if this is going to end up in a lower high or if we're able to straight away break higher. And therefore, we need to see daily and weekly closes above this resistance trend line and afterwards, of course, also above the top of the Kelton channels, also in the weekly time frame. Because whenever Bitcoin is closing weekly candles above the top of the Kelton channels, then we see those parabolic run ups towards a new all time highs. So even though we are still in this dangerous phase here below the 200 weekly moving average where we still could crash down towards $16,500, the risk is still here. I still expect that over the next coming days and weeks, especially if we can 
close in the next coming days and weeks uh, some candles above important support levels especially above $23,000 a nice run up even up towards $38,000 and the same thing is valid also for Ethereum if you were able to close again above the bottom of the Keltner channels in the weekly time frame I'm expecting also here a nice run up towards the top of the Keltner channels at around $2,900 we're gonna most likely face some resistance here at $2,100 at the median line but if Bitcoin is able to push towards $38,000 dollars the target for ethereum is two thousand nine hundred dollars it will be probably slightly lower uh, in the next coming week so i would say around two thousand eight hundred dollars and if we're going to have a closer look into ethereum into the four hour time frame you can see that also here right now we are getting some resistance at the 200 moving average so as it is for now we are getting rejected here and we are also again closing four hour candles within the calton channels so here it is possible that in the next coming hours we could have a pullback to retest important support levels at around 1200 to 1120 dollars so this could be a leading indicator that also bitcoin maybe is coming up to test here the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame at around 22,700 dollars and afterwards start a pullback like we're seeing exactly right now over on ethereum the pullback hasn't really started but we have here a rejection at the 200 moving average and also a four hour close below the top of the calter channels with a sell signal and also with still negative money flow so i think a potential pullback is in the cards but afterwards we could rally higher and the other reason also why we could get a potential pullback before we had higher is because of the us dollar index as expected we are still pushing to the upside and we are now coming very very close to our potential fibonacci extension level at around 111 dollars it is possible that for the next coming days we will see all asset classes like nasdaq uh, and also bitcoin ethereum and so on uh, pushing higher and higher and at the same time also the us dollar index and then at the end we're gonna see who is the winner who will get the bigger pullback because in my opinion here in the US dollar index we are about to find a top very very soon even though we are still in this uh, multi-week bull market but in my opinion here we are in for a nice uh, corrective phase in the not so distant future since we're quite overbought and also we have several drives of bearish divergences in the weekly and also daily time frame that's why here i'm expecting a potential blow off top or at least continuation towards 111 dollars and as soon as here we're starting to correct this in my opinion will lead then into a very strong relief rally both in the crypto market and over on nasdaq you can see that right now even though the us dollar index is still pumping that we had here also yesterday a nice breakout above this resistance trend line from this falling wedge so in theory the target is up here at least up here at around 14,000, right at the resistance trend line uh, of this uh, falling broadening wedge that we are also forming here in the weekly time frame for Nasdaq so if Nasdaq here is able to have a nice rally up towards this resistance trend line we could see exactly the same thing also over in the crypto market and then the same thing here we have to decide if this is going to end up in a lower high compared to this one and continue the bear market to way lower levels or if we're able to break out higher that we could eventually even see new all-time highs in this year so things are getting very interesting my friends uh, definitely make sure to be ready to trade this upcoming volatility if you want to trade bitcoin ethereum and other cryptos make sure to do it right now over on bybit not only because of this trading event but also because this is the most liquid and safest and one of the oldest derivatives uh, exchange for cryptos so definitely use a bybit if you are trading right now this upcoming volatility i think that we can do a lot of gains together here my friends in the next coming days and weeks we will see uh, if bitcoin is back and if we're gonna see now monster moves again to the upside the most interesting uh, targets are first $23,000 and $38,000 and if we were really able to push above that price level in my opinion the bottom is in and we will most likely not coming back down towards the, the price levels that we are seeing right now because uh, whenever bitcoin is having big breakouts above important resistance levels most of the times we never come back to retest them again and then we should expect also new all-time highs so with that said guys we're going to wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos check out all the referral links that you find in the video description and also make sure to follow me in my other social media platforms all the links are in the video description so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're going to see us all in the next one bye